Hello everyone, this is Detesco from iBlog Zone. Welcome to yet another video tutorial and today I will show you how to install WordPress on Bluehost. Uh, as you can see on the screen, uh, this is the domain name that I want to install the new WordPress. Uh, the reason why I'm showing this to you is because I want you to see how it looks like uh, before we actually install WordPress. So this is uh, a splash page that uh, Bluehost uh, provides as a courtesy if uh, for some reason somebody uh, visits your domain and you haven't had a website installed yet. So, okay, let's go ahead and, and go to the Bluehost control panel. Basically, once you uh, logged in your Bluehost account, you will see your cPanel, which uh, looks pretty much like this. Uh, it's really a very nice and intuitive uh, interface. Uh, I think Bluehost has one of the uh, best uh, C panels uh, around. And uh, before I move forward on installing WordPress, I just want to know. I just want to tell you why uh, Bluehost is one of my uh, favorite hosting uh, providers. Um, basically, what I really like about them is uh, apart from uh, you know, there's different uh, options and functionalities that they uh, offer you. It's really uh, one of those that are really unlimited uh, domains and unlimited disk space. And the other one is because uh, they have these uh, upgrades which are really, really cool. Uh, one of them is Cloudflare, which uh, if you don't know is a free CDN network. What it does is it allows you to improve your website's uh, performance as far as speed is concerned and it also increases your um, site security. Uh, as a matter of fact, I recently uh, made a video which you can see the link uh, in the description below uh, as to why you should really be concerned about your WordPress security. Uh, that being said, the other uh, feature that I really like about Bluehost is the site backup and restore. Um, Bluehost does offer a standard version of backup, but uh, this one here is the pro version where uh, Bluehost back backups your files and your themes and your plugins, everything in one swoop every single day. Uh, I can't stress enough the importance of having a backup of your site. You can do it anywhere you anywhere you want to, but the uh, the main idea is to actually uh, do it. Um, Bluehost uh, site backup and restore cost one dollar a month, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous and no, totally worth it. Okay. Anyway, let's so. Uh, do what uh, we have to do then and that is to install WordPress on that site that I that domain that I just showed you a while ago so in Bluehost go ahead and uh, scroll down and you will see this option here which says simple scripts installation so just go ahead and click on simple scripts and I'll just wait a little bit uh, before it actually opens so here we go what you want to do is scroll down the script list. Uh, there's a lot of options here, but uh, what we want to do is install WordPress. So go ahead and click on WordPress. Okay, so right now what we want to do is install a brand new version. So this is uh, the, the option here that you want to click on. So let's go ahead and click on that install button. Alright, so now that we are on the screen, uh, what uh, Simple Scripts is going to ask you is where would you like WordPress installed? So let's go ahead and select the domain that we want WordPress installed, which in this case would be this one. And following that, on step two, you have the advanced options. If you click on uh, this link right here, what it's going to do is it's going to ask you if you want to create a different username than that that uh, WordPress provides. Um, I'm not going to be doing it because it's uh, this is a video and I don't want you to see what username I'm going to be using but I highly suggest you do change this. 
uh, the admin username is the default WordPress and it's very 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 prone to uh, attacks so not only should you create a, uh, a different and a unique username you should also create a very strong password uh, as I s mentioned before uh, the video about WordPress security uh, where you can find the link below should uh, teach you a little bit how to do that so I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna leave it as it is let's go ahead and go to the next step which is plugins and themes these are some um, suggestions that Bluehost uh, or SimpleScript uh, ask if you want to install I simply untick them I don't want any of those so if you want to you can leave them uh, ticked but uh, uh, I don't think you need them anyway so after that let's go st to step four and take the I have read the terms and conditions of the GPL v2 license agreement so I'll click on complete so right now what simple scripts is going to be doing is it's installing WordPress as you can see it's uh, doing it relatively fast it's creating the databases and, and everything Okay, so now it's uh, done. Uh, so it's going to give you here the, the site link, your login URL, the username, and your temporary password. So let's go ahead and click on this uh, WordPress admin so you can see how it looks like. All right, so let's go back to. Uh, let's just copy this temporary password here there you go now you're in uh, your WordPress backend as you can see that was really 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 quick so this is how it looks like on the back end and let's go back to the initial screen which was this one if we refresh it, you should now be able to see uh, your new WordPress site. There you go. Do you see how easy that was? That was really quick. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.